They constantly get caught in lies. But now everything is being exposed. <laughs> See, here's the thing about people that have came up against you. They never really came in a genuine sense, in a genuine manner, because they had nothing to latch on to that was flaw about you. <laughs> you feel me? Like everything that you do, you do in the best of your capabilities in a great way. Not saying you're perfect because nobody's perfect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you do your best, right? You allow God to lead you in the right direction. And, you know, a majority of the time, you come out on top, and even when you don't, it's just a testing season to where he can propel you even farther and, you know, teach you lessons, right? But you're able to be propelled farther because you're genuine. You're able to be propelled farther because you're real, right? And you're not only true to yourself, but you're true to the source. You're true to Lord Jesus, the Most High God, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And these people hate it, which is why they put lies on your name, and you stay focused through the lies, right? Through the deceptions, through the trickery, right? Through everything that people do in your way and in your life, time and time again, right? Through the witchcraft. It's like, how long have we been having these conversations? They still haven't stopped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't you think we want to have a different conversation? But that's why we keep it positive no matter what we're talking about. And I keep you in tune with the real and what's really going on in everyday life because the Holy Spirit is going to keep you aware. He's not just going to allow things to go over your head, right? And he's not going to allow your discipline and your patience to go unrewarded. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like discipline and patience is meant to be rewarded because you waited so long, you could have easily gave up. You waited so long, you could have easily threw in the towel and said, okay, how can I be wise and, you know, do things my own way versus allow God to give me justice and vindicate me and, you know, allow my enemies to be seen as what they are, which is liars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they're going to be continue to be exposed for exactly who they are. They're not going to be anything other than that. Because you are what you are. This isn't the season where people can sit up there and constantly wear masks each and every day trying to pretend they're this or they're that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get to be exactly who you are meant to be as far as your actions. You get to be exactly who you're meant to be as far as who God wants you to be if you're obedient and you don't allow yourself to latch on the lies and, you know, move backwards because people are pulling you into misery, right? And because you haven't done this, you're being propelled to success. You're being blessed. And most importantly, like I said, that patience and, you know, all of that, you know, discipline that you displayed, being patient and not trying to talk back and, you know, like kind of display the same actions of your enemies and vindicate yourself. Guess what? That's being rewarded with vindication. That's being rewarded with God giving you truth and God exposing your enemies versus you taking things into your own hands and putting yourself in a situation to where you're talking too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Putting yourself in a situation to where you're making yourself vulnerable for no reason when you have legions of angels to fight your battles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I say you're royalty, right? You don't have to sit up there and move backwards or, you know, deal with situations and negative people because God is already fighting your battles and getting rid of these situations as far as making these people disperse and leave you alone, right? And go about their day, do what they do. They can talk behind the scenes. They can gossip. You feel me? They can hover around like some peripheral vision warriors. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They could do everything that they want to do. But guess what? They're never truly stepping in your way because if they were, they wouldn't have to do all of this black magic and witchcraft and all these, you know what I'm saying, passive aggressive behind the scenes activities because they know you have such a high hedge of protection over you that it's impossible to get up around you and, you know, maneuver you out of here, you feel me? Or harm you, right? Which is what these people really want. They don't want you to be here. <laughs> you feel me? They feel like you're too joyful. You're too happy. You bring too much light to this world. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve this. Like they're God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is why they don't wake up and have the things that they have. And they feel like they don't deserve it. Because here's the thing about judging people. When you judge people, you're just reflecting upon yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is why. God says, judge not, and you won't be judged because the only judge is Lord Jesus, right? The only judge is the most high God, and this is facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you realize this, and you don't allow yourself to move from that place of judgment and negativity 
it allowed you to not get reeled in by the enemy as far as trying to talk back and, you know, go tit for tat and, you know, you know, uh, speak on things that you know aren't true, right? You just allowed the lies to expose themselves, which makes people look even stupider. <laughs> you feel me? And the fact that people can't even keep up with their own life, better yet, all these negative lies that they have just pulled out of the woodworks, guess what? It's exposing them as a person that is truly going through the things that they lied on you about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now people are trying to see and figure out why they were so creative with these lies because these lies were the truth. You feel me? About them. You feel me? So it wasn't hard for them to be creative about it because when you're lying on somebody else, but that's your truth, you don't have to be too creative. You're just spewing a mirror out on them. You feel me? That it's not even the reflection. <laughs> you feel me? You don't have the reflection of a depressed person. You don't have the reflection of a low energy person. You don't have the reflection of an envious, jealous person. So why do these people try to throw those vibes on you, bro? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why do they try to put those vibes on you, sis? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they can't do that to you. And this is why God has rewarded your patience because Yes, things may have felt a certain type of way when you were moving upwards and it felt like you were moving backwards because people were throwing so many different darts at you. But at the end of the day, all you did was absorb them and turn them into greatness through Lord Jesus. <laughs> and now you're so great and you have so much power and everything that you speak comes to life so much that all that stuff is forgotten about. <laughs> you know, they, they still do the same thing each and every day, each and every day, each and every day. And guess what? Their life continues to deteriorate. These people are the best definition of darkness. <clears throat> you look under their eyes, all you see is darkness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You look in their life, all you see is depression. You don't hear genuine smiles. You don't see genuine charisma. You don't see anything that's really the fruits of the spirit of God, right? You constantly see them stumbling over their words, being anxious and lying over and over again because that's their energy when you do dark, wicked things. That's your energy when you come up against the chosen ones and feel like you could just pull lies and negativity and gossip out of the woodwork and it's going to stick to anybody else but these people. You feel me? They can't pull anything on you that they feel like is going to stick to you. And that same negativity and that same gossip and those same lies don't stick to them because it's like you reap what you sow. <laughs> if you sow negative seeds, negative seeds, and you're constantly lying and lying and lying, don't be surprised if you either constantly get lied to or you get exposed as a liar and nobody believes you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is why your character is so high and you, you know, move with so much honor and so much, you know, uh, discipline and character and everything that you have that Lord Jesus has blessed you with because you don't allow people to put you in their mindset when you have your own mindset. And even with your mindset, you still go through ups and downs, right? So why be undisciplined? Why be negative? And why lie on others? Right. And another thing is, you know what it's like to be lied on, judged. Right. So why lie and judge on others? Right. That's why people walk around feeling heavy. And that's why these people walk around feeling depressed because they have judged so many people, lied on so many people that they literally have bad dreams. <laughs> you feel me? They literally are the best definition of lonely, not for a season or not for an isolation period or for a wilderness season like you chosen ones, because God's going to get you situated if you're going through that situation. No problem. You know what I'm saying? But these people are going to be like that forever because their energy is manifested that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These people have put people in forever bad situations. They've, you know, ruined lives, right? They've basically thrown people to the pit, thrown people to the fire, right? Destroy people's lives behind the scene through witchcraft, right? Through corruption, bribery, all these different things, right? And they thought it was cool when they were the ones doing all these wicked, negative things, thinking it was going to stick. And now, they don't even know they're getting ready to go through the same situations that they put everybody else through. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they thought they were so above it. But when I said you had power, that's exactly what I meant. And when you speak something into existence, it's going to happen. <laughs> you feel me? So when you say the enemy's attacks and attempts aren't going to work and they're only going to be returned to sender, guess what? That's when people start losing positions. <laughs> you feel me? That's when people start losing cars and start losing stability and start trying to come around you like you have something to say to them. But they're in God's hands. That has nothing to do with you. You say your prayer and keep it pushing. <laughs> you feel me? And that's the thing that these people hate. The fact that you handle your business, say your prayer and keep it pushing and just take care of your personal life and your personal life is meant to help others. Guess what? Why would God not continue to defend that and continue to protect that and continue to vindicate that? 
which is why he's doing exactly that. And this lesson of patience and how long you have to wait for your vindication is a lesson to show you that time means nothing to God. <laughs> you feel me? He created time. He created earth. He created this existence, heaven. He created everything that we see. So time is not a matter of something to not believe him in or you know, not believe your justice is coming or not believe your breakthrough is coming or just believe he's going to allow people to tarnish your name forever when this is not the case. <laughs> you feel me? He puts time in between things and he puts time, you know, in between situations to where you could build discipline that you need to build and you're not walking around impatient and negative and worried about others versus focusing on what you're supposed to do and most importantly focusing on winning souls for lord jesus <laughs> you feel me so the more that you do what you need to do and the more that you grow the more that your actions are going to show and you're not going to have to overly talk because like i said you have legions of angels right you have so much spiritual protection you have lord jesus you have the most high god to where you don't have to stoop down to any level all you have to do is continue to rise to the level that Lord Jesus is at as far as serving him and being disciplined and being a humble, obedient servant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the more that you do this, the more that you're not going to have to worry about anything, the more he's going to continue to bless you. The more that he's going to continue to stress your enemies, the more that he's going to continue to expose their lives. The same way he was looking and feeling embarrassing for that split second because eventually the embarrassment and the humiliation went away because it's nothing to a boss when you know you're not doing the wrong thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you know you're doing the right thing, it doesn't matter who says this or who says that. You're going to continue to win because you knew this. It's easier and easier and easier to put things in Lord Jesus' hands because you've been doing it for so long and you're going to continue to do it. And now he's built that muscle up of what? Faith. Because when you put it in his hands, that's saying, hey, I trust you. I don't, I don't care how I feel or how people try to make me feel or what they try to say or what other people's reaction would be. You feel me? Because that's why they kept trying and attempting and attacking you based off what other people's reaction would be. But you're not other people. <laughs> you're a whole different breed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're a king, you're a queen, as I always say, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're royalty and you're going to continue to move in a direction that allows Lord Jesus to get the praise and also allows you to sit back and be peaceful while he fights your battles, right? And if you know this to be the case, don't you be afraid to hop down in that comment section and say, my enemies wasted time lying on me. Everything is being exposed. In Jesus, my name, I pray. Make sure to hop down there, like this thing up. Make sure to hop down there, share this thing up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button to keep in the loop every time we drop. Catch you guys in the next one.